It's Batman time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're gonna have a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. The Batman Who Laughs. <laughs> Actually a very very cool design. First appeared in uh, Dark Knight's Metal, I believe. I actually read that comic. Big fan of the design. That's why I decided to pick him up. Now, let's have a look. If you enjoy heavy metal and horror movies, this design is probably for you. And uh, I guess that's the best way of putting it. He stands at about 18 and a half centimeters to the top of his bat ears, meaning he goes up to 7.2, almost 7.3 inches tall. Look and detail of the figure, I'm actually very much impressed. McFarlane Toys is, uh, I'm, I'm becoming a fan of it because look at all the paint. Well, to be fair, there's not that much paint to be had on this figure, but they did, they went the extra mile. They could have just said, like, oh, we're gonna leave it at this and that and that and that, but they didn't as he falls down. But anyway, face sculpt is very nicely done. You have the effed up teeth and the red, and it really has like a dirt effect. It looks kind of glossy and uh, a little bit bloody and just disgusting and I love it and it should be like that. Have the spikes going around the cow. Those are surprisingly kind of still sharp even though you obviously can't tell that they're rounded. You have the soft bat ears on top. Not too soft. They kind of go a little bit awry but not that much. And then you have some uh, some dry brushing on it. It makes it look a little bit dirty all around, all throughout it and all the little bolts over here and whatnot, those are all very nicely painted. For the most part, I mean, as I look over it, there's only these ones that kind of miss the mark, but I mean, for the rest of it, those are very, very small lines, and I'm actually pretty impressed how clean it is, because this is a $25 figure. I mean, I look at Figmas, I look at freaking Figmas these days that aren't as nicely painted, and it that really pisses me off, so... Anyway, you have all these belt buckles on the side and obviously the belt is nicely molded in the chest area and then for the rest of it, it's a lot of black plastic with the belt buckles also on this side. Has the completely clear white hands. Would have wished to have a little bit more of a dirt effect on that because it looks kind of weird. It stands out weirdly, but I'm not hating it. Also, I don't know how well you can see it under the camera and I say it's a lot of black plastic but they did shading, they put shading over it. There's some parts where you can tell where the wrinkles and everything, it gets a little bit brighter. There's some color difference in the entire outfit, especially the pants, goes a little bit brighter on the wrinkles and that, that is very much appreciated. They didn't have to do that. They could have just been like, oh, we're lazy, we're not gonna do that, which I have, which I have with a lot of more way more expensive figures these days but this is yeah belt buckles same thing very nicely done and the coat in the back is shredded up has some detail in it looks absolutely fantastic and there's some more dry brushing in there to make it stand out even more so overall i'm very happy with this guy now looking at him you might be thinking the same thing i was thinking when i took him out of the packaging there's probably not that much articulation in there. Well, you would be surprised. You have head articulation, moves forward, moves to the back. Actually pretty nimble, does tilt side to side and would go all the way around. It is a little bit blocked by the color, which is completely soft plastic. So, so you can get it around if you want to. Then you also have neck articulation in there. You combine these two, it goes forward a lot, goes to the back a lot and does tilt side to side very much. Has some nice rotation, the same for your shoulder joint can bring that around, can bring that up. This piece is soft plastic once again, so you will not get hindered by it. Swivel in the bicep, double hinged elbow goes all the way up and a big ball hinge for the hand, which uh, does stand out weirdly. Could have done something to cover it up, but as a result, you have pretty good articulation with it. So, I mean, I, I would I would have really liked another line of belt buckles over there to line it up because it's just weird, but whatever. Now, obviously he doesn't have any torso articulation. How would you have torso articulation in there? He does. He freaking does. I really didn't expect it. I was like, probably doesn't have torso articulation, but look at that. It's beautiful, but it does only go back and forth. I, I think it's only a bunch of hinges in there, but it's so good and it's ratcheted so it does stay in place 
and I love it. Doesn't tilt side to side, and as I'm saying, doesn't really go around, so I'm guessing it's just big hinges. But still, I did not expect anything in there. Because, again, $25 figure, I'm like, well, it's probably because it's big and whatnot, you don't have anything in there. Then the legs go forward very nicely, don't go out that much to the side, but it's okay. And they would go all the way to the back, but obviously are blocked by the entire coat. Double hinged knees. Let me see if I can get that, actually. Because they go down a lot. Boom. Can bring that all the way together. Looks wonky, but super well articulated. And for the boot, do we have a swivel here? No, actually. Boot goes forward to the back. Does tilt side to side and all the way around and finally you have a toe hinge to round off that quite frankly surprisingly good articulation now the batch of accessories is quite a weird one which isn't weird which is very much appreciated is a nice little dc base or just a pack for the foot it's not nothing fancy but still like i'm saying appreciated because actually does have detail under the feet so he's kind of hard to pose with all of that so yeah i like that then, just get that out of the way, you have one piece of the Batmobile, which actually does look very nice. There's also some shading on it, the reels, the tires, they uh, they roll, and uh, there are actually rubber on there. Yeah, there's rubber tires, nice. So overall, this is pretty cool, but it's completely worthless if you're not buying Cat, uh, not Catwoman, Batgirl and Nightwing, and I don't really plan on getting them. Maybe? I mean, those McFarlane figures have been pretty good, so... Uh, uh, uh. Obviously, as you can tell, it's also very small, it doesn't fit with your figure, can't sit them in there even if you have all the pieces, so just get that out of the way. You have a card which actually says he first appeared in The Batman Who Laughs, which, uh, was that really before Metal? And I don't even know. He had his own series? Well, okay. Well, here's the card, and he has them, uh, a knife and like a dagger. There's a word for that. Also has like a dirt effect on the blades. For the rest of it, it's just brown painted on the handle. So overall, pretty cool. And it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts. I mean, obviously I have zero complaints about this figure. He looks amazing. They did the extra work with the paint job. They didn't have to do that, which a lot of other lazy companies don't, but they went the extra mile. I feel like it. So makes a great look. Articulates a lot better than I expected. It's a little bit meh on the accessory side, but he doesn't really need much more. Could have used some chains. I think there's like a, it's like more of a trademark to chains. Would have liked some chains, but other than that, I mean, you have a knife and whatnot and you don't really need that much more for this guy. So overall, yes, I do recommend this guy. I think it's an amazing package for a $25 figure. That's the most, one of the most important parts is like, I can't get over how, how cheap this is. Like, for what you're getting, I think it's completely worth it. So, that's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever the Batman who laughs wants. Like, my chains. I need to get my chains. <laughs>